in this last video of the free video tutorial um, of this chair we're going to see how to uh, convert into uh, nerve surface this uh, chair that we just created and to apply fillets on different parts uh, to add extra extra details so if you want to do this so first duplicate your sub d because we'll have to transform it to nerves and when it's transformed to nerves you can't uh, transform it back to sub D uh, easily. So here you will do this and then you will uh, convert the object to NURBS. So select your object, press enter, so now it's a NURB surface. And the idea here is to, uh, so delete the initial sub D, is to, to extract uh, those surface uh, which are crossing the other one. And in this way we'll be able to, to create a curve that follows the crossing of them. And with this, we'll be able to apply a chamfer, a fillet. So let's extract, extract uh, surface here. So we can extract this and this, like this. And now we can select all of this and say, say this object intersection. So now you see we have all the intersection here and now we can join again everything like this. So here you see that it's going to say one closed poly surface. It's very important. And then now you can select those things here, create a pipe, not a multi pipe, but, but a pipe, um, which is not too big. So maybe you two millimeter, press enter, and then you'll be able to split this geometry with the geometry and then when you do this the idea is to create to blend those two uh, those two edges you have to go into surface uh, surface tool and it's going to be blend surface and here chain edge and then you will select this so it will select the entire edge and then select the segment seg segment for second edge which is here and then you press enter and then uh, you'll be able to um, to create the, the junction between the two and you join it then normally if you put into let's say rendered mode and you remove those curves here and here you see that it created a transition. Sometimes transition is not that uh, nice and uh, it's because you might have when you do the, the, this transition to actually create, add some, uh, some geometry. So let's do it again like this. So if I do chain edge and I select this, no, I select, so chain edge, I select this and this and I do this. For example, here I can add shape and add something like this, and you see it's going to straighten the structure. So here I did this, here I can do the same thing. Hmm. I need to delete this also. So here. Here, add shape. For example, here you can add one shape. Here also. Here also. And the idea is to have those things to be. Um, to try to be perpendicular to the curve uh, which is uh, to which it is linked to so when you're okay you can press space or enter and then if you do same height yeah it should also um it should also um enhance the, the junction because it's going to to kind of uh uniform er get everything uniform so if i remove same heights Actually, yeah, let's try this and let's do that. And let's look into rendered mode. 
Yeah, the same height actually flattened everything. So let's not take the same height. Let's do the same way chain edge here at shape. Like this. And here we are. I clicked at the wrong place. So here. It should be fine. And so I remove some heights and let's say OK. And it should be better. Yeah, it's much better, as you can see. So you can do this with, with everything now that we have all the, now that we've got all the, um, the different um, curve. So we can simply, so either you do it manually with everything, or either you do it uh, here, and then you, you we're going to, we will have to mirror this. Maybe uh, I'll do only this side and then I'll mirror it to be easier. So I'll select this and this and this and I'll do pipe. So I've got my pipe and then I will do split and I'll use those pipes that I created. And now I can delete them. And delete also the thing that it's splitted. So this like this, here, here. And here. Okay, and here it seems there is something. If there are floating elements inside, it's not a big deal because they will not be they will not join to anything. So if we move the object at the end, those elements will stay and we can easily delete them. Um, so okay, so here let's do a blend surface, chain edge here, like this. You can add shapes. And then we have two more to do. join this and there is a last one which is here chain edge add slash
No. So you can undo with um, a, a control Z when if you if you put uh, something that doesn't work. So here you see it's it's a bit um, it's a bit more intri intricate. I think the main reason is the fact uh, that this angle is really stiff, so it, it, it tends to, to deform much more the surface. Like this here. And I think we're good. And here we are. So now we can split this in two. So go from the top, draw a line, and then you'll select both of your objects. Press uh, uh, select the align uh, tool, type align, press enter, and then uh, select vertical center. And then you will know that both object will be vertically aligned and then you can bring this up slice it so to slice it select your chair and then um, select the split object then this curve and then delete this part you can also delete this if you want and then you can mirror that like this and now join it so make sure that you have a closed poly surface and now all the joints uh, have been made and uh, if you look in rendered view uh, you see that uh, it looks clean and um, properly jointed and it's not just geometry which crosses and here actually you see this is a remi remaining piece of our uh, splits of earlier so yeah here you go